Okay, here is a feature in Camtasia 2020 that I really like. <laughs> it's called Add Frame at Playhead Feature. So let me jump over to Camtasia and I'll kind of show you what this is. Let's set up a little bit of a demo here. On the timeline, I have me a clip and this happens to be a recording of one of our webinars, right? And my goal here is to edit this and put it out as a replay. So of course this could be any kind of screen capture video that I got going, doing a demo, visiting websites, whatever it is. But here let me just kind of show you an instance where this might be useful. So I have my screen recording, the video part, and as you can see in the clip here, I also have my audio narration. So what happens quite a bit is I'm just going to scrub through here so it's all looking good it's all good my voice is talking about the question that is at hand here and then I'm gonna go jump out and I'm going to demo what it is I want to talk about okay so this one happens to be going to a website that I want to show Coach Doris some blinking Christmas tree lights that she can get right so here's what happens <laughs> As I scrub through here, what you'll see is that as I jump over to my browser, I'm on the wrong tab, right? So now I got this superfluous, out of context piece of information going on here. And then I finally get my act together and we're going to go up and click on where I actually wanted to be, right? So to make this work and take out this confusing part what I can do is let's go to where I actually want to be and let's get rid of some of that mouse movement there we go I'm gonna go ahead and at this point right click on the playhead and I'm gonna say add exported frame when I do that uh, it's going to take a shot of the screen here and put it in as a still image. Okay, and now what I can do is take this back and just figure out where it is I made my goof. In fact, maybe I don't want to show that I jumped out of slideshow mode. Let's go back to here. and let's tuck this in and then let's stretch it out okay so now I basically have fixed that little issue in fact two of them I've made it much more seamless I'm jumping from full screen slides right to where I'm going but the the best part about this is adding a still frame image doesn't mess up my timing of my narration right so this comes in handy just constantly now in older versions of Camtasia what you could do of course is instead of using the the cool new little feature is you could go to export export frame as you could save the file out and you could import it into the media bin save it and then go to your media bin, find it, drag it, and drop it. Or you can do this. Right click, add exported frame. Boom. Make it last as long as you want, put it wherever you want, and life is good. No cutting or slicing of, of pieces that are bad. So for example here, if I wanted to you know, get rid of this part, well, if I highlight it and cut it out, I'm going to hose my narration up, aren't I? So, uh, that's no good. I have to use the export frame trick, or my favorite way, by just punching in a still image. Uh, it also comes in handy if you start waving your mouse around. How many people do that? Anybody? <laughs> 
or just something happens that you don't want to have happen. How many times have you been recording on a website, moved your mouse, and some kind of stupid tool tip or preview thing pops up that you don't want? <clears throat> like that. I didn't want that. So what I can do is just freeze it right here, add the exported frame, and it's gone. And, you know, tweak it up. Boom. I love that feature. How many of you didn't know about that feature? Robert says, this is like the way they use B-roll to cover up mistakes. Yeah, it is, sure. And B-roll is a good way to cover up mistakes in a lot of cases, but particularly with screen capture videos where just just something little goes wrong. Has anybody ever had anything just go just momentarily or a little bit wrong and you don't want to hose up your decent narration, right? So there you go. Okay, lots of people didn't know about that guy. I like that. It's one of my favorites. Any other questions on that? Okay.